Hello and welcome to Tom Buckle Tea Talk. You're joined by me. I think I'm dropping the John Duggan. It's what I'm always called. For some reason, Kieran calls me John Duggan. No one calls me that. <laughs> uh, I'm joined by my good friend, Kieran. He's available for bookings at thedaddy at hotmail.com. <laughs> Kieran, how are you doing? I'm good, yeah, yeah. Uh, before we begin, now, Kieran's a... He likes things consistent. We haven't I been do. on for two weeks because we did a live tea talk mm -hmm. and he was meant to save it. And he's a bit like the Hulk. And then, instead of going green, he goes grey and he turned into granddad and he didn't save the live video. So I couldn't upload it. So yeah, that was my mistake. Send, send all hate mail to the daddy at hotmail.com. Kieran. What have you got to say for yourself? Uh, before we start, go and grab a cup of tea. Because we're drinking tea while we do this. Yeah, yeah. Cesar Owls here. Mmm. Got my Jack Ma. Today I've got my... I've, I've put milk in it. I've gone a bit rogue. <laughs> um, I've got my jam and toast tea. It is a game toast, changer. Jam and toast flavoured tea. It's lovely. Honestly. Yeah. Heaven and a cup. <laughs> you say so. Um, what have you got to say for yourself, Grandad? Um, well, I had some biscuits, but I've, I've eaten before we came on the podcast. No, why didn't you? Uh, I don't say know. The live video. We had yeah, a special no. guest and everything. I know. If you if you've not watched us live, you need to because we had some day on that I didn't even expect to come on, which was great. Yeah, a guy in, uh, from America. He wasn't from he wasn't from America. Oh, no, he wasn't, wasn't. Was, he wasn't. <laughs> His name you know. was Atlantica. If you're watching, hello. I remember, yeah. He was from England, but he lived in Spain. In Spain, so yes. So this is how I used to do. Not yeah. that I mention it. <laughs> no, you don't mention living in Spain at all. I don't I don't try and mention it, it just comes up. It's <laughs> ten years of my life. Did you say pain? Well, I'm funny about that. <laughs> I used to live in Spain. <laughs> Um, how you doing? Have you recovered from your vaccination? Uh, yeah, but I've had another mishap. Did you get it on your eyebrow? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, um, I fell off my bike. <laughs> I mean, Kieran, this is what happens when you take your stabilisers off. I'm really annoyed because I, I got this jumper, right? <laughs> as you can see, but a bloody hole in it, you know? It's only a tiny one. So how fast were you going? Um, not were you on the road or the pavement? So I wasn't going particularly fast, but I was on the road and I was right near the pavement and I must have gone over like a big stone or like a pothole or something. <laughs> so it just made my my um, my tyre just kind of swerve just, just a little bit. But as it swerved, it hit into the pavement and obviously, you know, you can't go sideways on the pavement. Oh. So I was, I was like, whoop. <laughs> big stone. It was Did something you... like, I don't know what went over. Did you put your hands out? Or did you just... Yeah, yeah, my hands are a bit. <laughs> free yeah. for, I mean, it looks pretty bad. You look like you've you've been through the wars. I mean, it's yeah, my shoulders a bit grazed as well. And you said that no one stopped to help you. Yeah, so <laughs> not even traffic. Was, no, the car because there was a car behind me. They just carried on, um, and there was three. No, sorry, four cyclists, like in Lycra, you know, so they took, you know, they take cycling quite serious. Mm. And I thought they would help me out because they're part of the cycle, you know, we're cycling family. <laughs> you know, just went right on. Oh, uh, no. Unbelievable. Going for the win. So were you selling it or were you? <laughs> no, well, I couldn't straight away because I was like, I was really annoyed that I, I came off my back. I was like, oh, bloody hell. I was like, what the hell? And then I looked at my arm, I was like, oh, my arm, my, my, my palm and my hands were bleeding. Oh, and I looked around thinking, they have just cycled off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's such, I get what you're saying, but it's them situations. I never know what to do. People don't always know how to react to them sort of situations. Yeah, because if somebody, if somebody came off their bike, <laughs> I'll just make sure they're okay. Because they might stand up yeah, and then collapse it, again. It's pretty bad that they didn't even ask if they're all right. I know, nothing, not even a, like, all right, mate, not even a thumbs up. 
It's not a similar thing, right? <laughs> but is it one time in Spain? It's a Spain story. It's not a bike <laughs> story though. But do you know like Killer Pool? What? You're gonna wonder why I'm telling a story. You know Killer Pool, the game Killer Pool. Have you ever played it? Killer Pool. Killer Pool. Killer Pool. Killer Pool. P- yeah. Oh wait, that yeah, that's where. You have like, is it, oh God, is it, you have one shot? Yeah, you've got to put a ball in one shot. Yes. Yeah. There, there can be like 50 of you in, and then yeah, yeah, whoever yeah. last standing wins. So it, was, so it was in this pub called, it was Jaggy Thistle, which um, is in Blackpool. Mm. But the what? guy who owned it moved to Spain, and he bought the Jaggy Thistle in Spain. My dad used to work in there. Right. So we stand out. And... Uh, so you do kill a pill, but there would be like 50 people in this game at two wow. euros a go. So it was for 100 euros. And we're going for the game. And I can't remember the guy's name. It doesn't matter. Say he's called Dave. And so it's all on this chalkboard, all these names. And he's trying to get everyone. It's, a, it's so hard to organise. Anyway, so it comes to Dave and we're shouting Dave. We're like, Dave, Dave, no answer. He's got three lives left. Dave, nothing. Then one of his mates comes up, he goes, ah, oh, he's epileptic. He's having an epileptic fit in the toilet. Um, he's not going to be able to do his move, just take a life off and carry on. <laughs> not like, can you help him or anything like that? Anyway, so he has his fit. He's all right. He's fine. <laughs> he's annoyed because he, one of his lives got knocked off. He went, I couldn't, I couldn't possibly play. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that really happened. <laughs> wow. Um, he was all right, yeah. Well, yeah, my dad was like, what's wrong with him? <laughs> he was having a fit in the toilet and he's had a life lost. <laughs> um, so some people just act like that, Kieran. Did you have a helmet on? <sighs> no. <laughs> I know, and it's, listen, it's, it was really stupid. I, should, I, should, I, didn't, I, I didn't own a helmet. But I bought one literally this afternoon. We were talking about this. Me and Freya were at the supermarket last week and we seen like, I mean, they're breaking the law because there was like eight of the kids on bikes. Teenagers are weird, aren't they? Why are you hanging around Tesco on your bike? Go in the countryside. But they're just going around the car park. But there was like, say, eight of them and only two of them had a helmet on. Mm. And I said to Freya, oh, that's weird, isn't it? I went, I don't think I ever had a helmet when I was younger. I never wore one anyway. Mm. You don't when you're younger, do you? You don't, you don't think you're going to fall off your bike. You wait till you're 30 years old and doing traffic. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you should wear a helmet always. Safety first. Because Would it have saved your eyebrow? Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, listen, I've got a helmet today. Even if I do look like a bit of a div in this helmet, it's going to keep me safe. And that's the main thing. Mm. So, safety first. Yeah. Um, I can, right, last time we were on, I kind of caught, I think, was it on the live I said this? Or was it one of these? But I called it, it was one of these. We were talking about cance, cancel culture. Yeah. And what did I say, Karen? Um, you had a few things you said about Eminem. Um, yeah. What, what did I say would said? be next? Uh... I said wrestling will be next. You, you did, yes. Yeah, you did actually, yeah. What I know we, we're not meant to talk about wrestling, but we always end up, but it's big news. Go what on. has happened this week? No, go on, I'll let you... Uh, in- <laughs> so, cancel cultures. <laughs> it's really, it's starting to annoy me. I know it is, that's why I'm letting you because, tell it. Right. It's bizarre. It biz- I don't understand it. They're trying to erase bad things that we did in the past, right? Which isn't what they should do, in my opinion. They should go, we used to do this. We don't do it now. Yeah. We're not going to do it again. We don't... It's like... Can, I mean, where do you stop? Do you not mention the Nazis to anyone? Do you what? not mention any kind of wars? But that's the thing, though. Any slavery? The thing about slavery... And let's, let's say slavery, for example, right, is if you erase it, it let's say it didn't happen then in history, right? Kids don't know, kids who grow up, like my daughter, won't know about slavery 
unless we go back and teach it and kind of look of how horrible it was and mm. how we progressed. You have you need to, to, yeah. You need to see how your attitudes change as well, because you know, yeah. you look at the 60s, is the way black people were treated in the 60s isn't how they're treated now. It's, there's still bad, bad aspects, obviously, with the you know Black Lives Matter and stuff like that, which needed raised. But the only way you're going to progress is if you look back at what you used to do and go, "Oh, we shouldn't, we don't do that. That's horrible." I don't think erasing it completely is ever going to do it. Mm -hmm. So what they've done, and what I don't understand as well, is if 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 people for some reason think that you can't offend anyone, that's never going to work. Yeah, somebody is always going to be offended no matter what you say because it's subjective. You could say, I could go on left handed and let right handed people would be like, Well, no, you can't be left handed because I'm right handed. You can't please <laughs> yeah. everybody, stop trying to please everybody. What's I'm, a, what's I'm offended saying? that you're offended. <laughs> what's the saying? You can only please half the people some of the time, you can't. Please everybody all of the time, something like that. Yeah, so that, yeah. So anyway, so what's happened? Right, it's happened in America, which you know, at the minute, stuff over there's all over the place. Nothing's <laughs> making sense. If anyone's been watching America, I, f I honestly I feel for you because I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> um, so <laughs> I'm trying not to offend anyone either. What yeah, I'm saying offend is. Somebody. I know, I'm going to offend people, but I'm just saying what I'm thinking. Okay. Right. So the network in America has been bought by the Peacock Network, which I think is owned by Disney. Yes, so the, the WWE Network has been bought. Uh, I now, don't know, is, is, does Disney own Peacock? I think so. Really? Hmm. I'm sure I've read that. Okay. okay. So what's happened is, it's not happened to us, we've just got the network and that's fine. We can watch all the stuff that they've decided to delete, I think, so far. Um, Peacock's gone, oh, we're a family brand. I think, I'm sure it's Disney, it's someone like that. Right. So they've, they've gone, right, we're going to have to take some things off because this is going to offend people. However, it's only going to offend you if you watch it and you choose to watch it. You don't... It's a streaming service. It's not like they're putting it on TV and going, oh, look at this, when we used to do this, or this, 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 and this. You're so, choosing to watch that moment. Why are you taking away that ability for you to watch something that you can learn from and not do now? I don't understand it. So just to be clear, what moments have they got rid of? I know one. Okay. I know there's quite a few. Right. Honestly, I'm trying not to offend people, but so one big one is when Roddy Piper, he was at WrestleMania, mm -hmm. he was against, I think it was, I want to say Bad News Brown, but it might have been Junkyard Dog. Uh, Roddy Piper was facing Bad News Brown at WrestleMania. Now, Roddy Piper at the time's a heel, so he's going to mm -hmm. do heelish things, which... I mean, wrestling is really complicated. Is there any such thing as bad heat? It's debatable, isn't it? Mm. So Bad News Brown is African-American. So what Roddy Piper decided to do was half his face and half his black... He, half his face was in black face, which is obviously, for good reason, it's highly offensive. Yeah. But he's doing it to get heat. I'm sure, I would like to think that Roy, Roy Paper said to Bad News Brown, are you okay with me doing this? Yeah. And again, it's of the time, I mean, you had the black and white minstrels at some point. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But here's again, my... Again, don't delete it. It's just go, we used to do this to get heat. We're not going to so do it here's, again. Here's my thoughts on this. Um, wrestling... The wrestlers and are, are not, they're not real people, the characters, mm. right? Uh, so it is sort of like a TV show. Well, so, there's another instance as well, which if you think about why it was said, right? The other instance is Vin Vince McMahon saying the N word. Yeah. Now, you hear that and you think, oh, that's really bad. Mm. 
but this isn't the end word that Hulk Hogan said in private when no one listening. It was him playing a character, Mr. McMahon, trying to be sort of hip and cool. And when you listen to rap music, you hear that word a lot. So that's the word that he used. He wasn't saying it in a racist way. Obviously, it's a racist word. There's no denying that. Yeah. But he's playing that old man hearing a rap song and going, oh, that's the word that the young guys are saying. And he says yeah. it to John Cena. And it's kind of a... I mean, yeah. If you're going to say it, it shouldn't really have been done. It would never happen now. Yeah. That's the I thing with that... comedy, isn't it? There's, I said this about South Park Elite. It depends what the joke is. I know, but I, th I think that is... I think that is maybe just one step too far, I think. And Possibly. if that, I understand. Yeah, I mean, it's not... You don't really need, You can cut it and it doesn't affect anything else in that show. Yeah. With the Roddy Paper, you've probably got to cut out the whole match and everything. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's loads. This is a, when they did the whole Iran, Iraqi terrorist gimmick. Mm. But I mean, wrestling always do, always does these like so they had the anti Americans who which mm. were non American wrestlers going against Americans and what Americans stood the, for. Do you not remember when they turned they turned um, Sergeant Slaughter into like an Iraqi sympathizer? Have you ever seen that? I don't. I don't think I have. It's obviously way back in the like cartoon era. Um, but. Another thing as well is like WWE, like I said, and you know, especially American wrestling, it is character based and it is storyline based. And a lot of the time, it's sort of stuff that's going on in the, in the real world. Just where does it stop? Yeah. Because are you, are you suddenly going to go, oh, we can't watch that film because this happens in it? It's a story. Yeah. Wrestling is story wise. I get, I get, honestly, right. Fair enough, don't show it on TV again, but if people could sit down the kid and go, right, look at this, this isn't good to do, learn from it. No, just go, oh, it never happened. That, yeah. that never happened, that, mate. Disney did it. They took loads of things out of Disney, and it's like, well, no, just tell them what life used to be like in them days. Yeah. I think just erasing it is, is, not, is not the solution. We've only just started doing it. When have we ever erased bad things in history? We haven't. We've learned from them. I mean, that's why we have time pop. <laughs> <laughs> to remember the bad things we did for you know our past years. It's just, it's just. That I'm just so annoyed by it. I know. I know. Just, it. It doesn't make any sense to me. I, I just mean, don't get what. I mean, what? Three... Why is no one allowed to be offended anymore? Yeah. That's part of being a human, that there'll be things that offend you. It's, it's an emotion that you should have. Mm. And you're taking that away from people. Yeah, if you want to be offended, that's great. Tell people that you're offended. Don't be like, I'm offended. That needs to be erased. It doesn't <laughs> work. You can't do that. I mean, true to see what other people think. I mean, then, the, yeah. I'm not, don't get me wrong. I'm not being the, oh, you're not allowed to say anything anymore. Because that annoys me when people say that. No, you're allowed to say what you want. But if you're going to say horrible things, don't expect everyone to agree with you like they used to do. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's not acceptable. It I know. Absolutely <laughs> up. So let's talk about something a bit lighter. <laughs> Go on. John. Did you watch Fastlane? Uh, I did. Uh, it, it was all right, to be fair. It's surprising, isn't it? They should yeah. change the name of Fastlane to not as bad as I thought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're onto one there, yeah. Uh, um, I just want to quickly change the subject because I just want to talk about your puppies. And I'm not referring <laughs> to any, any <laughs> puppies. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I think I've mentioned them briefly, haven't I? So we, we had like surprise puppies where we had... Uh, a letter of, I think it was seven. Like, totally unexpected. And we've kept one. Labradors. 
the best yeah. kind of dogs. The rest are on the uh, M, M, uh, M5 in a box. <laughs> uh, well, the one that's gone for us is less, though, which is quite a far better way from here. But yeah, they've all gone to their forever homes. Yeah, in a way, it's so weird, like, because I've never done that before, you know, raise a puppy from, like, this tiny little thing, and they all get their own personalities. It's pretty cool. Cool to see. Yeah. Yeah. So, so they, they all got bought by um, like families and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I think everyone, maybe apart from one, was a couple, but everyone else was like families. And what, what dogs were they? What what dogs are they? Labradors. We had Labrador. six boys and one girl. So we've kept the girl. She's called Peggy. Peggy. Mm. Quite a cool name. It's hard to choose names, isn't it? You don't know what's going to stick. Well, why, have you, why have you picked Peggy? It's a bit complicated. So Why is it complicated? <laughs> right, so me and Freya bought this house and when we were doing it up, we would listen to Hamilton. I don't know if you listen to Hamilton. Yeah. So there's a character in it called Peggy. Right. And it's just one of the songs, it's quite funny how she sings her name in it. So that's kind of the name that stuck out. And we were like, oh, Peggy, and it's to do with that because it's the time we spent together in lockdown doing up the house. That's not complicated. It's a bit, well, it's not complicated. It's just a bit long winded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's quite a cool name, I think. Old names are back in, aren't they? Yeah. I'm waiting for John to come back in. It used to be the most popular name, and now you see the Welcome. Just, We'll come back Why not? In. John and Keith are no more. <laughs> Ian, Ian's the one right, as well. The record. Yeah, Ian's Ian. Better. Yeah. God. Um. But yeah. So it was quite a sad weekend there last week. Mm. What else have you done this week? It's really windy. Um, Can you hear that? No. It's an exciting viewing, isn't it? <laughs> um, what else have I done? Um, I've, I've been it's on a few bike rides. Uh, <laughs> not a lot, really. Where do you go on your bike rides? Um, Lytham. I go down to Fleetwood. Because obviously, uh, from Blackpool, you have the whole promenade. I used to love going down the promenade when I was a teenager. I couldn't... I, I think I did it once when... I moved to Spain and moved back. Um, <laughs> and I didn't realise how much of a trick it is. When I was a teenager, I could do it mm. with no problem. It seems to me when you get older, it's harder, isn't it? Yeah, but that's because of all the beer. <laughs> 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 the but it's, you know, it's quite nice, especially when the sun's out and you know, it's nice weather. It's just, mm. you know, apart from when seagulls come in and try and, you know, knock you off your bike. I do that. Yeah. Somebody uh, was feeding, feeding the seagulls chips, like a, a chippy. And um, yeah, seagulls went right past me. And I was like, "Oh God, <laughs> God!" Yeah. Uh, just going back to Fastlane quickly. What did you think of the fiend? Yeah, I liked it. It was cool. It's weird. Yeah, but I like it though. No, I honestly, I'm like the biggest fan of the fiend. But I felt myself during that match. About halfway in, I realised my mouth was open, just like, what am I watching? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Such that a weird good. match. It's exciting. It's, you know, mm. it's, it's good. I think the Drew McIntyre match was so good as well. Yeah. was not expecting that, because I've not... I, I don't not like Drew McIntyre, but I'm not like his massive fan, but I really liked that match. I thought it was good. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. Seamus had a good, good innings. Mm. Mm. Um, what have you got planned for this week? Nothing. Uh, I'm getting my garden sorted uh, this weekend. I'm doing the same, I think. Um, oh, Sunday it's um, in England vs Albain Albania. Mm. Sorry, John, mm. no, he's Scottish. But let me just say what I think about this. So we get was we played uh, Thursday. And San Monaco, 5-0. It was only 5-0 as well. Should be more of that. Yeah. Most, most teams beat them like 8-9-0, don't they? Uh, 
and and what score was it did um, Scotland? What's... Well, we had a harder game. We had Austria. Did you see the equalising goal though? No. Oh, it was a belter. Be yeah, fair, we I've, got, two... I've got the highlights recorded. We were two each. Um, we played all right. Yeah. It's weird, no crowd, isn't it? I know. So, have you booked off June the 18th? No. But, well. <laughs> England uh, v Scotland. Yeah. Easy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, it'd be interesting, because we haven't played in a while since we have became a better team. Mm. And we, we we do turn up usually against you a lot. Well, to be fair, when um, it was the qualification for the Euros, I can't remember who Scotland played, but they won on penalties, didn't they? Mm. That was a, that was such a great game, like highs and lows, and then right at the end, the last penalty, um, you scored it, Scotland scored, yeah. and then, yeah, it was a great game. It's a big moment because we've not qualified since the World Cup 98 um, for any competition, as you see. Mm. Well, yeah, World Cup 98 was so good. Like, I, mean, I think that's like the year. Uh, because growing up, I was never really into football that much till about then. So I was like mm. nine. So, you know, like some kids are like from like birth there. Yeah. I, just, yeah. I, I think because I, I used to wear glasses, so I could never really play football safely. <laughs> and uh, I think the World Cup in the year was the first world like football I properly watched. Mm. Our first game was against Brazil. We lost because of an own goal. Um, what was it? Do you know what's weird as well? Is you have the Euros 2021, which is mm. it starts in what June, and then next year is the World Cup. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? There's going to be a lot of international. It the same's going to happen with the Olympics. You're going to have the Olympics and then the Winter Olympics the mm. year after, where it's usually there's a two-year gap. Do you know what I bought as well? Um, I bought an ink. Well, I was on eBay and I seen this England shirt for twenty quid. Well, for nineteen pound, I thought I'll just put a bid on. I told I, I told my missus Molly. She was like, "Oh, have you now?" I like, yeah, but I said I won't win it because it's for nineteen pound. Like no, no one else had bidded on it. Mm. Anyway, it came to the last ten minutes. I was like. Right, don't worry, someone's going to outbid me soon. And I bloody won it. But, uh, <laughs> and we're happy. £21, that's with like, P&P. Um, it's it's an English shirt from 2005, a Beckham shirt. Um, so I, knew, I, actually won, I actually won the England shirt. And mm. it's an England shirt from 2005, England uh, against Argentina, where we won 3-0. And the shirt's got it on in the middle, England against Argentina. Oh, that's cool. Beckham shirt, so yeah. See, I'm tempted to try and get the Scotland '98 strip. Yeah, I remember having. I think that was my first. It wasn't my first strip. There's ones of me younger where I have like a yellow Scotland top, but it's quite mm. a cool one. This the thing was in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. I used to get Scotland tops all the time. I've not bought one in a while. Thing is, though, they're quite expensive, aren't they? I wanted to get. Emily, my daughter, uh, like an England kit, and even for her, it was quite expensive. Well, they always used to be expensive, though. I remember Liverpool tops, because obviously I'm a Liverpool fan. They always used to be around the 40, 50 pound mark when I was like a teenager. But that was quite a lot then. But See, now, I never like, knew, because my, my parents got me in my Manchester City shirts. No, mine did, but you know, you used to go to the shop and see them at that price, I mean. Do you remember I, seeing prices? <laughs> no, as a kid, I, I, I didn't really take much notice. I was like, oh, oh, not um, but like, it's like 78 quid now. That's just <sighs> silly money, isn't it? Um, what's your favourite football top you've ever had? Um, do you know what I do have? And it's, it's, a t it's, it's not, it's a bit small for me now, just a tiny bit. I still wear it. Um, the Manchester City red and black um, shirt. Where we, that's when we won our first trophy. We won mm. the FA Cup. Um, that's cool. Yeah. I've got, I've got a load of Liverpool ones in my loft. Like proper retro ones, yeah. 
I think my favourite one is I've got one. It's my oh. deliver. <laughs> um, oh, it was bad, uh, yeah. yellow writing, you know, with the Carlsberg writing and yellow. Oh, yeah. it, had, it had four stars. It was before we won the, the fifth European trophy. Yeah. We've got six now, but at the time we only had four. Um, well, how many so, is Man City? So, what have you what? ordered? Just ordered a burger, haven't we? It's Friday. Just a burger. Come on. I need more detail. I want to know. Uh, I can't remember the exact name of it. I think it's like burger and pulled chicken on it. Pulled chicken. Okay. You need to know. Why do you need to know? I, I just like to know what people are having. It's fry. It's, a, it's like a local takeaway. I don't know what it is. What fries? Is it like curly fries? Is it normal? Uh, I love a curly fry though. Yeah. Oh, very good. You see, I eat late. You don't, do you? You eat very late. <laughs> Tea is like five o'clock. Oh, I have it like nine, ten. That's supper. <laughs> I've not, not had supper in years, mate. <laughs> so my dad just got to any afters. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's not much else happening, is there? We're counting down the days till the 12th. Oh, no. So, uh, at my work, we don't have a beer garden. So, I've got a whole month of drinking in the beer garden before I have to go back to work. <laughs> well, we've got WrestleMania, haven't we? Yes, we have. You, uh, you, may, you may be coming to me, depending. Possibly. Yeah, yeah. So, hopefully, we'll come up with some good videos today. I think we should do the... Uh, this, I mean, this is just for now. People may have ideas for what we could do. But I was thinking, like, the wrestling cookbook I've got, we maybe do a couple of recipes in it for WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so cool. you've got the wrestling cookbook and you've also got one with cocktails in. Yeah, I mean, the say cocktails, Kevin. <laughs> I think... Uh, is that a good cookbook I've got as well? I mean, it's not, it's not wrestling-wise. Um, I've got it, so. Let's, we could try because you're you're, like fans Gino. Of, you're quite a you're a fan of films, aren't you? Oh yeah, I was expecting Gino De Campo or something. No, so that's one that's quite good. I got as a gift. What it's, does it say? Uh, eat eat what you watch. So it's famous like recipes from like TV shows and films. Right. Okay. So you could, um, is um, Sam's of lambs on there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Let me hold on. I'll, have a quick look at one would be what's the famous meal from a film and see if it's in here um wait there's a giant pancakes from Uncle Buck okay there's I'm thinking um the question that pops, pops into head was Back to the Future you know and they wow. have um, they have like the future like the futuristic microwave and stuff don't they ah uh, yeah no it's not that. so they have the uh I just seen it there, and you know, good fellas. Yeah. They have the the prison gravy. Okay. And Terry Masu from it. I love good fellas. It's a great film. But yeah, I reckon we do some recipes from that and the rest of the crew. It'd be quite okay. Rich. Any yeah, anybody yeah. got any other ideas we can do? Because it, I think we could probably do a few over the weekend, can't we? Yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Any suggestions? How are you feeling about WrestleMania? I don't know. I'm going to mm -hmm. give it another week or so and then, I don't know, because it's this bad bunny. Rotten. You want a Grammy? Did you see that? I don't even know who he is. The rapper. Yeah, I know that, but I'm not like, I'm not like an old man. I know like, you know, Drake <laughs> and whatever, rag and bow man, but I don't know how bad, bad bunny is. I've never had him either, to be fair. I don't think he's that great. Why is he? <laughs> why has he got a WrestleMania spot? Well, it's weird, isn't it? They always like a celebrity at WrestleMania, but I, yeah, but he's just what? jumped into it. There's not. There's been no build up really, has there? Yeah, they've been better. Did you hear the story that um, Justin Bieber a couple of summer slums ago was it Summer Slam Survivor Series? What to team up with? I think it was New Day. And go against the Wyatt family. 
Like he and they turned him down. <laughs> Can you imagine yeah. that Justin Bieber doing a match? I'm I'm glad they turned that down. <laughs> um, but yeah, they usually get a good celebrity. I don't know. Bad Bunny seems a bit mediocre. Yeah. Stay, uh, you know, that's that push. Hmm. I mean, he's a twenty-four-seven champion. Tonks is I'm gonna bust into tears in a minute. <laughs> what would you do if he beats them as? <laughs> oh my god! Honestly, could you imagine? He probably will. He probably will. Yeah. It's if a joke, you had a celebrity, it? like you want someone like fairly cool and that could probably wrestle. Hmm. Um, like Channing Tatum. Well, Snoop Dogg, did you see Snoop Dogg giving an elbow drop on AEW? Yeah, it wasn't great, <laughs> was it? It's too, like, wanky, isn't it? Yeah. What about <laughs> Chan, Chan and Tatum, right? Because in some of his movies, he just come off like, quite bad at us. Mm. And I reckon he could, he could give it. Yeah. Or... I mean, to be fair, I'm not a fan of celebrities at all in the, the, the squared circle, but if we are going to have them... <laughs> It's WrestleMania tradition, though, isn't it? They've always had, like, some sort of celebrity. You think the celebrities have been on WrestleMania? Cindy Lauper was the first one. From the Mike beginning. Mike Tyson. Muhammad Ali. Yeah. Um, Drew Carey. Oh, well, that was a Royal Rumble, to be fair. But, yeah. But WrestleMania usually get a few big celebrities, don't they? Yeah. It's Bad Bunny, for me, is not the one. But we shall see. <laughs> no, no, we won't see because it's just gonna be awful. Yeah. But uh, have, have you finished your tea yet? Almost. I wanna. Are you gonna go and have your burger? Um. So we've got. We've just done an interview with Marcus, Marvel, Marvel Marcus. Is that his Marvel Marcus wrestling name? From Step Into the Ring. If you watch Step Into the Ring, if you haven't, go and watch it. It's on uh, BBC Play. It's really good. Um, and it's really good. Uh, we had a good little chat with him. We, we chatted about all sorts. Um, Power Rangers. Yeah, it was good. Um, and of course, WAW, which is the promotion he's at. And, you know, he was calling out some big stars, so look out for that. <laughs> he was, uh, yeah. it, was a, it was a great interview. Kieran's also gone out on his own and done a video. Aren't you, Kieran? I have, yeah. I, I'm going to... I'm gonna put it out and see whether see what people think of it. If they like mm. it, do it again. I think it's quite good. It's quite interesting because you never know. What, well, I won't give too much away, but you never know what's in those kind of things. Yeah. So, you know, oh, I can't speak about it because we're speaking about it. But I always find that things like that, when it's promised all these sort of things, that it's not as good as it looks. But yeah, that look quite good. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully that's teased you into seeing what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep your eye out. When when is it gonna be uploaded? Do you know, John? Uh hmm. Possibly Sunday. Okay. Good it depends when this goes out. We well, don't have as many puppies to look after. Yeah. <laughs> She's got a guard. I've got I'm doing my garden as well, depending on the weather. It's quite windy at the minute. Yeah. I'm I'm getting a professional. Yeah. Yeah. Who? Yeah. Sam. <laughs> oh, Sam. Sam. <laughs> Sam you get a professional. Gardener slash landscaper. Mm. So um, I've known his family for years. Um, mm. He's a good friend of mine. And his dad um, is also a gardener, landscaper. Um, he's even actually, Sam has been growing some flowers in his allotment. Is that the right word? And then mm. he's going to give them to me and we're going to plant them in our garden, in my garden. That's cool. Yeah, and we're going to have some barbecues. So I'm going to get pizza oven. Of course you do. <laughs> well, huh, like a proper, yeah, not like a metal one, a, a stone one. I think it'd be so chef. The back. A chef thing but, yeah. to do, isn't it? <laughs> um, but yeah. I was, right. I was getting a metal grid and cook some burgers on that but you know that, I'd be fine with that him, is it? well I don't the area I'm in I don't think we're allowed barbecues we're not allowed barbecues 
You want gold in country, lad, Bobby. It's near a main road. So you got to watch where you smoke. I think you're, it's, you're only allowed to burn certain things. It's very weird. Well, I've never heard about that. Yeah. If I bought a house like you have, and you, I'm, I'm doing it up, and I'm spending quite a lot of money on it, and if I wanted to barbecue, it's like, knock, 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 uh, excuse me, uh, you can't have your barbecue because you're near the road. I'll tell them where to shove it. <laughs> it's the law, mate. That's what happens. You don't realise these things. Find me that law, because that's... I've I'm never sure... heard about that. You get like a, it's in, you get all this paperwork with your house about everything. Oh, if I need the actual sentence, so I'm, I'm just curious, I want to see what it says. And the actual I'm sentence says, that. one may not have barbecues near a main road. <laughs> you may <laughs> be fined up to £100. Uh, you're allowed to burn, it's a set, you're not allowed to burn a certain type of thing. I don't know. There's you always smoke. There's burgers. a massive house a couple of doors down there, always. Got stuff on fire. I, I don't know. I, I, think someone's, I think someone's lying to you. I think you, you misses that. Oh no, we can't have barbecues. Oh, it's a lot. Well, we should have a garden off, I think. A garden off. So take a picture of your garden now. I'll do, right. I'll take mine tomorrow. And maybe either do like a progression of how it's going or we'll just okay. show how it was and how it is at the end. Yeah, and then we can send it into Alan Tishbash and he can uh, he can review it. <laughs> yeah, this lovely water feature. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, the woman, the woman who doesn't wear a bra. Uh, what was her name? The ginger woman. I remember on Grand Floss where she didn't wear a bra. Yeah, I can't remember the name. Uh, Charlie Dimmock. Charlie Dimmock. Hey, that, where did that come from? You can't, I can't believe I used to watch programmes like that. My mum used to go, oh, she's at it again, she's not wearing a bra. Do you remember changing rooms? Yeah. I love changing, I used to love changing rooms, love especially when they don't like it. Yeah, and they go, <laughs> I hate it, it's horrible. <laughs> Straight away. <laughs> I think, uh, there was a clip, it was on, te- you're not on, well, you are on TikTok, but you're not on TikTok. And mm. um, they showed a clip of um, when they did these, like, floating shells in the room. Oh, and it yeah. had like their collection of teapots and while they, they walked out of the room they just had this crash and it broke all our teapot collection that she'd been collecting for years oh my god <laughs> and they brought her back in and um, I can't remember her name it wasn't Carol Smiley it was the other one right she's quite smiley all the time uh, you've come back oh, oh, yeah yeah. Uh, yeah it wasn't Carol Smiley it was the other one I can't think of a name she was a designer, but she was saying to the people that was changing the room, like, don't worry, I'll have to break the news to her. <laughs> don't get upset about it. They didn't give a shit, to be honest. This was like, right, <laughs> well, it's your fault. You put this stupid shelving up in the room. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Oh, it was awkward to see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll take a picture of our garden um, and uh, see what happens. See, garden off. Yeah. And then and then what we'll do, we'll do a vote. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's got the best garden? It's funny though, because I've got a child, so one minute it's all like finally turn around and there's just stuff everywhere. Mate, I've got a puppy. <laughs> it's the same. Yeah, but, no, it's not. Not with Emily. She's like um uh, what's that? Uh, what's the um from the cartoon? What's the uh, t- Tasmania where it spins yeah. everything? Tasmania, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I used to love that cartoon. Tasmania. Yeah. Um, but yeah. 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 Thank you for so watching. Get, give us a subscribe. John's going to have his burger. Um, give, us a, give us a like, give us a comment, give us a subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your dad about us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just spread the word. We've also got our last interview to watch, which was out uh, first day. Mm-hmm. I, was, I was going to interview that. Yeah. Rossi Rascal. Yeah. And Decent. of course, we're not, we're not just on YouTube as well. We're on everywhere that you find your podcast, whether that be Spotify, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, Breaker, you name it. We're on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good. All right. I'll see you again for another episode of CTP. See you later. All right.